Khan fighter jet, developed with national resources, made its first flight today morning. Khan remained in the air for a short time and landed without any problems. Khan fighter jet, developed within the scope of the National Combat Aircraft, MMU, project, one of the biggest projects of the Turkish defense industry and initiated by the Presidency of Defense Industries, made its first flight today. Taking off from Murdered Airport, Khan flew for a short time. During the flight, Khan was escorted by an F-16 Fighting Falcon fighter jet. Landing after the first flight without any problems, the Khan fighter jet successfully hit the runway, opened its parachute, and landed. After landing, Khan passed to the Turkish Aerospace Industries, Tuzis, side from the Connection Road at Murdered Airport. In Khan's first flight, test pilot Barbaros de Merbus sat in the pilot seat. Khan will be able to work jointly with platforms such as unmanned aerial vehicles, aerial notification and control, and other elements planned to be procured. Khan, which will be able to perform air-to-air -air combat with new generation weapons and precision strikes from internal weapon bays at supersonic speed, will provide increased combat power with artificial intelligence and neural network support. Within the scope of the Khan program, the world's leading test centers such as the Lightning Test Facility, Radar Cross-Sectional Area Test Facility, and Wind Tunnel Facility are brought to the country. In this way, the way will be paved for increasing the processing capabilities of test data. The date when the initial conditions called T-0 of the National Combat Aircraft can were met is 2018. Within the scope of Phase 1, preliminary design activities of Khan were carried out between 2018 to 2022. Within the scope of Phase 1 and Phase 2, detailed design and qualification activities of MMU Khan will be carried out in the 2024 to 2029 period. In this direction, Khan left the hangar in 2023. It is aimed to produce three prototypes by 2026. It is known that the assembly activities of the second and third prototypes are currently continuing at TAI facilities. The Block 10 configuration, which will be delivered to the Air Force's command, is aimed to be developed by 2029. 10 Con Block 1 warplanes to be produced within the scope of Phase 2 will be delivered to the Turkish Air Force between 2030 to 2033. However, this date announced by the Turkish Air Force was revised by TAI to 2028. Within the scope of Phase 3 between 2034 to 2040, the development and mass production activities of other can blocks will be carried out. This date was revised by TAI as 2030. This is a great achievement for the Turkish airspace industry, so we congratulate to Turkish people on the greatest achievement in their aviation history.